Hey guys, it's Josh. I hope you're having a good day and welcome back to my fourth edition of Waymo versus Tesla FSD beta in Chandler, Arizona. Before we get started, I want to go over the metrics I use to compare the vehicles. So the first metric is whether or not the vehicle is able to make the trip from A to B without any intervention. I expect Waymo will be able to do this basically every single time. So this is an area where Tesla could falter. Assuming both vehicles have made the same trip, with no interventions. At that point, whoever's made the trip faster is who I consider the winner. And there's probably a margin of, let's say, 10 seconds. So if they're within the margin, I would call it a tie. And along those same lines, I wanted to thank Scott Graham for this great idea as to how to account for stoplights. So a big problem with using time as the metric to determine a winner is it's largely based on uh, random variables like how long you wait at a stoplight. So Scott came up with this method to account for that and make it fair for both vehicles. So that's what we'll be using if both vehicles are able to make the entire trip. So let's get into it and let's see how we do. And this time I made a bit of a rookie mistake and started the vehicles out in separate directions. So one's going north, the other's going south. But they did start at the same point and they're going to finish at the same point. So here we go. Stopped in a good spot. I like to see that it, on 10.34 back then, it would stop much further back. And we'll see how we do on the highway. I've got uh, the automatic lane change set for navigate on autopilot. So previously when I went on autopilot on FSD videos by accident, I um, would have to change the lane personally. So 
Should be better now. style. <laughs> Got it done now. I didn't like that so much. It it basically activated the blinker while going, which is how a lot of people drive, but you know, not so much. I don't really enjoy it. Nice merge behavior. Oh, a little heartbreaking there. I had to press the accelerator. I didn't have to, but I decided to. I have to change the speed as well. For some reason, it hasn't gone up on speed. There we go, now it's reading 65, guys. And we're on autopilot. I'm not sure if I'll fast forward this section or what I'll do. Probably fast forward it.
FSD. Perfectly smooth autopilot trip for four miles. And actually I haven't used the automatic lane changing for six months or something. I don't use that driving personally. Um, so it worked great this time. So I was really happy. Maybe I'll try it again personally, but we'll see. It's interesting. We're in the middle lane turning right, which might be a bit more awkward for the system than you expect. I'm interested to see how it does. About a hundred cars have turned right while we've been waiting here in the middle lane. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Let's see how we do. Oh boy. That kind of cut the corner there, but it was a long way from the charger or whatever that thing is. Supercharger and Chandler guys. So we want to go right in half a mile. We probably should think about moving over into a different lane here. The Honda Pilot behind us in the right hand lane. tenths now. Yeah, it's just handling this really poorly, guys. It could have slowed down and got behind this truck, but instead it just went full speed into um, a whole bunch of traffic, and now it's going to have a harder time moving over. Um, but I think it'll do fine. It's pretty good at finding a spot. turns and we'll be 
back to where we once belonged. I guess that's a bike lane, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe it isn't. Awkward, just the way I like it. Oh, we got pedestrians. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I would have waited to see what the kids did, but I guess that's fine. I don't think this is 35. Yeah, okay, I went to 25. it would slow down a bit because I can't see okay it looks fine that's our destination right there guys so yeah I hope you enjoyed that was really great performance I'm really happy with that and until next time I will see you then my friends cheers all right guys so there we have it both vehicles made it with no problems and both were basically in 18 minutes despite taking completely different routes so using Scott's method to calculate the adjusted times for each vehicle, we had 18 stoplights for the Waymo and 10 for the Tesla, and the average time was about 8.7 seconds per stoplight. And based on that, the Waymo time becomes 1924, and the adjusted Tesla time is 1636. So almost three minutes faster for the Tesla on the adjusted time. So we'll have to call it a win for Tesla this time. So Tesla's finally on the board. The score is one for Tesla, two for Waymo, and one tie so far. So be sure to check out my other videos if you haven't already, and subscribe if you like this sort of content, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.